What's up everybody? Today, we're finally upgrading our exhaust on the Z. We're inside. We're in my house right now because outside it started raining this morning and they said it was supposed to be a dry day and um, it's kind of not. So here's our old exhaust. We'll actually be replacing both our cats. We're getting test pipes there. I think the Y pipe's gonna stay and then we're getting a ISR single exit. If you guys, if you guys were familiar with how our exhaust was before, this little piece right here was being held up, the very end was being held up by a coat hanger because our muffler got destroyed when the car got destroyed. So we just took the muffler off and let it just kind of dangle. So we're finally upgrading that today. We got a couple other things to do for the drift event but we have to wait for our buddy because we're doing a trade for exhaust. So he's coming in from out of state, uh, coming in for some vibes and some chills and we're gonna do some swapping. Um, I have to go get some of the alignment blocks and some of my alignment tools from Mike real quick. He's done brought that stuff for me. So I'll probably go knock that out this morning while we wait. And I've already, already got my exhaust off. I'll take you guys along for putting it on. It wasn't too bad coming off, but it wasn't too good either, you know what I mean? It was kind of like one of those things like I was like really teetering on having to bring this car to my shop and do some like serious drilling and extracting of exhaust studs. But fortunately, by the grace of the drift gods, it worked out. So let's go get some of that stuff from Mike and we'll continue on with our waiting for our friend. Yeah. my stuff as you guys have seen from Mike there's a couple things that I have to bolt up let's uh, jump on to here I'll show you guys what else I have going on besides the exhaust and all <coughs> right now right 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 now it's big chilling so we took off the little plastic undershield that covers all this stuff up so I gotta like drill some holes get our underglow back in if you slide over here, can't see it. So I got some of my Heim joints that are out of the line. I'm gonna straighten these back up. I don't think I'm gonna do a front alignment. Got my exhaust out, waiting to be in. And Bye. yeah, on the rear of the car, let me get under here. Right, I'll show you guys this. You know, actually, there's nothing really wrong. There's nothing really wrong. Minus our tire wear, which you can see right there. That's probably the worst of it, I think. Yeah, wow, it's really dirty under here. Oh, here's our noise. I didn't see that. That's gotta be replaced. Look at that. Hey, you guys are seeing this for the first time is with me. I didn't even look at this. Huh. Oh, we got we got some of those from our friends, some of them axle things, so we'll replace that. And yeah. Yeah. Mel's gonna come up here. Right. What did you want to do today, Mel? What were you doing? Uh fix my bash bar that I spray painted because <laughs> Hey, hey, you wanna point uh, it out to him? Go ahead, Mel, yeah. point him out. Point yeah, it this out. This is point the last out. one that I did and uh putting I already sprayed it, just putting the clear on. And it fell in the grass, and and I cursed very, very, very loud. I was really yeah. mad. Oh yeah. And I just left it like that. Big but, mad. So now I have to come back and, and sand it off and fix it because. But that's yeah. not even the worst. You can't even see it. Uh, it's back right here. Oh yeah. Oh wow. So. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even see that either. I gotta, I gotta sand all that and repaint. Oh, that's terrible, Mel. Until we get it professionally done. Oh. So about these guys, check this out. I had a few people 
can sit down here so you can see. I had a few people ask me about these blocks and what I was using them for, like why I had them. So these are what I use to do alignments. They're 18 by 18 by 18, probably not, but uh, I'm not a very good carpenter as you can see right here. Um, but I use these just to get the car up enough so I can get under it pretty easily and align the car. And then I take little pieces of plastic right here and that allows my tire to move freely because the plastic just moves very easily on the wood. So I do that just so that I can easily align the car at home and I don't have to always bring it to the rack, put some toe plates on it, you know, quick, easy, in a hurry. This is probably, this is V1. This is V1. We'll probably do V2 and bring you guys along. We want to make them uh, stronger and, and lighter. Uh, stronger, lighter, better, faster. Cooler. Yes. Something along those lines. But yeah, the wood, the wood's very heavy and cumbersome to really like deal with all the time. So we're going to revisit this for sure because I like it, but I just don't like it if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna give Mel a hand. We'll pull this off and we'll get the rear of the car line too. So BRB. K okay, sound cool. Oh yeah? So we didn't actually do our alignment at all. Our friend showed up and here we are. Bam, so this is what we're switching into. We'll obviously be replacing these parts. That we didn't even have. That's not there. <laughs> we're keeping this jank stuff right here kind of busted but it'll do for now right mel yeah, sure. say hi keenan hey what's up man hey man what's up <laughs> he's really nervous guy he, he doesn't he doesn't want to do that he's like oh, no, i can't, can't keep me on that so so we'll put these on i think we're gonna have to go get bolts and keenan has suggested that i use the permatex exhaust gasket i don't even know what it is um so i'll go get some of that and some bolts and probably not get this done today so let's get back at it so we got everything for the most part here we got our exhaust but here's the issue sorry sorry we had a little car driving by hold that for me for a second Mel. thank you so we got our alignment done we got our bash bar painted what else did we do LEDs up and we didn't straighten out those Heinz in the front, but we'll probably do that. Um, the exhaust, what the video was about to be, which was for today. These are completely wrong. It's for a DE, right? I'm assuming you can see they're not even close to the same length. Never won't match up. So I got a plethora of other exhaust gaskets these and uh we're gonna try i guess just get the rest of the exhaust on but we can't finish this today oh and our o2 sensor didn't come out so we got one o2 sensor this one we ended up just giving back to our buddy because uh or we just let him take it because if i'd have taken it out it just pulled the threads out they get stuck like that it's either just break it and get a new one or just leave it where it sits if it's still working so in our case it was still working i just said hey man look you get a free o2 sensor yay and uh we'll go get one and i think we gotta get bolts right you said well i ordered all that with the gas oh but yeah i had to do overnight for like an extra 45 dollars yeah so did you so mel what you ordered what gaskets oh. and all the hardware from z1 from z1 for the yeah. test pipes yeah there's z1 test pipes yeah. Sound, sounding nice. nice. Yeah, so yeah, I guess all I'm gonna do from here is pick up and we'll just fast forward because this isn't the end of the video, but we're just gonna fast forward to when I can actually get the exhaust in and show you guys what it sounds like and how it goes in. So let's just go ahead on and edit some fast forward and then now and we'll see you in a couple days. Um I just want to point this out. We actually got I just put this up just because I could. So pretty simple. Pop that in, factory exhaust hanger. 
factory exhaust hanger. I had to use my own hardware that I had and just laying around at home. And you can see I just have the jack stands under there because I still have to get the gaskets. Yeah. And our new O2 sensor. So there we go. We got our stuff. It is Tuesday. I think it's uh, Tuesday. Yes. Tuesday. And uh, so we just went ahead on and ordered hardware because you need hardware also for these test pipes. It's like an so, extra $18. That's not bad. No. That's not bad. It really isn't bad. You'll probably pay 18 bucks for, it looks like, 10 bolts and 10 nuts and washers. So you'll probably pay that at your local hardware store. These are apparently unobtainium. Like at any local parts stores. Um, unobtainium? Yeah. Unobtainium? Unobtainium. Is that a word? <laughs> it is now. Okay. In the book of Dranglish. Drusa. I'm it's been a long week and it's only two days in so uh yeah let's get this knocked out we'll get some sound clippies for you boys and show you all what's up huh yeah yeah that's yeah. all i'm worried about right now that's all we're, that's all she's worried about yes. all right let's get to work Okay guys, so well under here. Here we go. Anyway, if you see this gasket, you see how it's curved over here, flat over here. It does go on one way. It's pretty obvious it's just flat on the header and on the test pipe. Put the flat side to the flat side. Good to go. Get this side installed and uh, we'll rock on with this. Alright, so if you can see that one bolt right there, that's going to be your kicker. That's going to be the kicker. The driver side's even worse. Can't really even get a good shot to see it. Like, you see where my, there it is. It's, I'm on it right there. So, uh, as you can see, I removed the intakes to get that out. I just removed those just so I can get like a really long extension in here put a breaker bar on there and get that out i would suggest putting the nuts facing this way just because it'll be easier it's just a lot easier to grab it from up here so now that that's fully installed i just have to put these intakes back on and yeah i think that's it and i'm gonna crank it up and we'll see what it sounds like yeah huh what do you say let's put these intakes on and let's get to it huh
engine light on? No. Huh? Nope. No? Uh, I mean, potentially, yeah. I don't know. I'll just see it. Alright guys, that's it. What'd you think? I thought it sounded pretty good. Mel, what'd you think? You are nuts. She, she's she ecstatic. Yes. Yeah. So she was always worried because you could always hear the tires over the car. You never really heard the car. You just heard a whole bunch of screeching tires and it was really lackluster. Do you think that this sounds like that annoying Z sound like the tubo? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We right. still have a resonator in there. So still it's not straight pipe. It's resonator and there's still a factory wide pipe. Oh, and just for your information, we, um, on the Z's, they have like a brace that bolts the cats up to the transmission. It's like a support brace. Z1 says not to use that. We just took ours out. We didn't use it. I know I didn't touch on that, but. So, we'll leave, um, comments. Or, don't, no, well, yeah, we'll, we'll leave comments. <laughs> no, we'll leave links in the description for you guys for all the stuff that we used. Um, including the ISR intake boots that you guys saw me struggle with there for a second. We never really touched on that, but. Saturday, we'll see. Yeah. How, this how Saturday, well this Saturday, when you guys see this video, when it releases, we'll be drifting. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll, you'll, you'll get to see that next week. So, yeah. anything you want to add? No? Oh, no. Mel put this on, too. Let's walk back here and show you guys this. She put a. If you guys remember, that was black, uh, red and gold before. Now it's chrome. She got her Jimmy up, her chrome Jimmy up. We're gonna re-sticker the car and all, but yeah. So for now, guys, uh, I think that's it. I think that'll end the video. So if there's any questions, feel free to give us a question, comment, question, comment, question, comment. It's late. I'm tired. I'm whipped. So as always, guys. Give it a like if you liked it. Consider subscribing if you want to watch us grow. And uh, hit that bell if you do subscribe for next week's video. Peace.